Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated Cerulean's gym leader, Misty. In today's episode, we are actually going to be backtracking a little bit to a town we were previously at because you guys suggested that we should go there in search of something special a legendary Pokemon of sorts. So that's where we're going to be going today. Hopefully, we'll be able to battle it out today and see if we can get some stuff done. So, first step is here, and then we'll continue from there. Hope you guys are having a nice Friday afternoon. I know that I am enjoying my summer break I am actually you know knocking stuff out now that I have a bunch of free time and it feels really good to get to just relax and enjoy life and play video games and enjoy my summer all right it seems like we made it to route 15 there are a couple trainers down there which I don't want to be bumping into or the trainer or the Pokemon in the grass yes the trainers in the grass they will pop out at me and like to fight me and stuff no so we're gonna be going down this route today and there seems like we have one motherly looking lady here to battle so let's just go ahead and take her on very quickly. Okay, so there we go. We've defeated the teacher lady and she wants to exchange numbers. No, that'd be kind of weird. I don't want you to go to jail and stuff. Ooh, there's a Pokeball over here. We got a Rose Incense. Not sure what that does. Probably powers up some type of moves that I don't really need to get powered up. Ah, uh, there's a guy over here. Let me go ahead and run by him. I'm trying to dodge as many as possible, as you can see. That's kind of why I'm taking it nice and slow through this breezeway, because I don't really want to battle trainers unless we really, really, really have to. Ah, uh, is there anyone coming up here? Made it to Route 14. This is where we need to be and I'm gonna go ahead and dodge this trainer as well there seems to be one more up here and I think we have just about made it to where we need to Rodri not again I'll be there first next time having followed it here I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after to be honest I would like to keep this information to myself but I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune that's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water, somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet. It will be just you and me. Who will find it first? I challenge you. Alright, so it seems like we're going to be going on a scavenger hunt today to find Suicune. That is the Pokemon we are going to be tracking down, and that is the Pokemon that hopefully we will be battling with. Where we need to go again is back to Cerulean City, because like you guys told me, we need to go back to where we crashed Misty's date. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, and that's where actually... Suicune's gonna be waiting for us. I have already stocked up on a bunch of stuff, so I am pretty much ready for this battle. It's gonna be very, very exciting. Suicune is a very awesome legendary Pokemon, kind of like a big face of the Kanto region, or of the Johto region, so it'll be a lot of fun to take on that Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and get on my bike, and let's just cruise through here and get there as fast as possible so we don't delay any further. Repel wore off. Fantastic. It's a good thing we already took care of all these trainers on the bridge and Misty, so now we can just blaze through here. Hey, how's it going, buggy trainer? That's gonna be a good Pokemon trainer someday. These little twins over here that we battled, or whatever they were, I, I don't remember very clearly. And the one douchebag who just wanted to battle for fun. Okay, so now that we are back over here, it is time for us to take on Suicune. Puff, Puff, I am no match for you, as I predicted. Go ahead, since I met you in the burn tower at Ecruteak City, I've sort of known that Suicune would choose you. Take a look at it! Suicune is waiting for you! It has been waiting for a battle with a worthy trainer to whom it can entrust itself. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and say very quickly and then the battle will be on its way so I will be back with you guys in like 3 seconds. Alright, so now that I've gone ahead and saved, I've put Aqui up in front, and as you can see, we are ready to take on Suicune. So here we go, Rodri versus Suicune! We're gonna be taking on the first of the legendary trio. It is level 40. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Aqui, because this is part of my crazy strategy, which you guys will be seeing. There are actually two Pokemon which I have ready for a strategy, but I decided to go with the one for Aqui. I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of Yawn, Ice Beam, you know, Waterfall combinations, and hopefully that'll be able to, you know, weaken down this Pokemon and eventually catch it. If we do end up running out of yawns or ultra balls, which I've actually stocked up on, I've got around 40 of them. 
Um, you know, hopefully we don't run out of them. But in case we do run out of Yawns, I do have a backup plan, which is going to be bringing out Glamis and using Thunder Wave to Paralysize Suicune and then hopefully catching it that way too. All right, so as you can see, it is asleep and now I am going for the Earthquake, hopefully to weaken it down as much as possible. I'm just trying to get it into that little red looking area and if we can get it down to that it should be pretty much ready to get captured all right it's looking good I'm gonna throw out one ice beam I think the ice beam will pretty much get it in the red zone to where I want it to be you know probably I don't think it'll KO it maybe one or two ice beams and there we go that's pretty much perfect that's about as close as we can get to where I want so I'm just gonna start spamming the yawns all right I think we got this I think we're finally getting in on a bit of a roll now and I'm thinking that having it you know like that sleeping will help us out a little bit but just to mess around i'm gonna go with the pokeball first why not throw out a pokeball maybe it'll work it didn't but hopefully it'll get some curse off of this where i can finally catch suicune because for some reason i always have trouble catching suicune especially back like when i used to play gold i always had the hardest time catching suicune it literally took me like 35 40 ultra balls at a time to catch it when other legendary pokemons don't take as much yeah so you know we're gonna see how many it takes i don't know i have heard that it is actually harder that that's the legendaries in this are actually pretty hard to catch in heart gold i'm not sure if that's true or not you guys let me know but i know that you know things get tougher around here all right let's keep spamming the ultra balls it seems to be working slowly but surely it seems to be working uh i think eventually we'll be able to catch this pokemon and get going you know it's gonna be a good time if we can get it inside you know you'll be a good part of the team i'm probably not gonna use you a whole bunch but you'll have a good time with the other pokemon in the pokebox we have sunny side a nice little egg a nice little egg that likes cracking jokes and you know is very friendly we have this red gear dose guy called ready who you know cracks a bunch of stupid jokes and makes people laugh so you know it's a bunch of good guys in there if you let us catch you you can have a good time in there too all right i threw out another yawn um and wow i just misclicked another yawn but i am actually gonna start spamming some more ultra balls because i think we'll be able to catch it here very soon if we can do this nicely and swiftly it'll be looking good for us so you know let's get all our fingers crossed let's start start all start hard of the carding here and hope that we can catch this thing without too much trouble. Like you seen said, this Pokemon wants to join us and wants to battle us and does want to be caught. So, you know, we're going to see if we can actually do it. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, thought we had it. Only one bounce, though. Only one bounce. All we need is three. Do you guys ever have those moments when you throw an Ultra Ball and you just know you're not going to catch it? Like, it'll bounce once and it'll just sit there. And that little extra millisecond, you just get that feeling that you know you're just not going to catch that Pokemon. And caught it! There we go! So we got Suicune. Fantastic! Finally! Uh, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. But sweet! We actually caught Suicune when we were talking about not being able to catch it. And there we go! The data was added to the Pokedex. It says Suicune, Aurora Pokemon. It is a water type. Said to be the embodiment of north winds, it can instantly purify filthy, murky water. Fantastic. Kind of a tall, tall Pokemon. And we are going to give it a nickname. I'm actually going to name it after someone we have met in our adventure. We'll see if you guys remember who this is. So I'm going to go ahead and type it out very quickly. It is actually one of the Kimono Girls, and it's Kimono Girl Kune. So we're going to name it after Kune. Um, it is transferred to Bill's PC, and there we go. Rodri, you two are truly amazing. I have never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell, Suicune. Farewell, Rodri. See you later, you seen, you weird, mysterious guy. And there we go. We have officially caught the first of the legendary trio. I am hoping that we will be able to catch the other two soon. I have some strategies planned for those, and I'm thinking we're going to be able to do it. So that's when things are really going to take off. I don't know exactly where it is I catch them. So if you guys know, feel free to let me know because that's going to come in handy. I do know that there are a bunch of legendaries we have to catch, so any tips on them are very helpful. All right, now that we're back here in Cerulean City, I'm going to have to figure out where exactly it is we need to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips, if you know where we need to go next or what we should do, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.